guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today we are going to Sleepy Hollow, but it is not just a normal Sleepy Hollow type of visit. We are going to this thing called Twilight Village and it's going to be taking place in Phillipsburg Manor. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a historic property in Sleepy Hollow. To be honest, I don't really know the history too much of it. I know it's really bad of me, but it's really cool because there's going to be a bunch of different things going on within this event. I'm super excited because I've never actually went to an event in Sleepy Hollow. I've been to the Pumpkin Blaze like a long time ago. I think I even posted a video at like one point, but it might not even be on my YouTube anymore. I hope it's not because that was a while ago. <laughs> but I'm so excited. It takes place in the dark, so I will bring my light. I hope that you'll be able to see me. It starts at 7. It is 5.41, so we're going to be going soon. Before we go, I would like to show you guys the packages I got. I have two horror-themed packages, or not horror, more Halloween-themed, and then two book talk-themed packages. If you don't want to see me do the haul, then just go to this time that I put on the screen, and you will just be able to see the Twilight Village event. I don't know if you guys noticed, I do have my Witch City Wicks candle back there lit up. I figured I'd lit it up for this video because it's just very fitting and I haven't lit it up yet. I wanted to film it before I actually used it because it's so cute with the little sprinkles on top. Speaking of candles, let's open up the subscription. The Witch City Wicks, the Witch City Wicks subscription box. That was a tongue twister. Also, I got this really cute coffee, little ghost on it. Let's open this up. And if you're wondering why do I have so many packages every single video, it's because I saved them for the video. I did open it up right for once, but it looks like so far. I know that the monthly candle is called Haunted this month and I didn't even see it like on their thing. So this is a first time sneak peek for me. First of all, okay, let's look at the sticker first because it comes with the sticker. Sticker. That's so cute. It says haunted. It's a little haunted house. Then of course we got a little free candle. This one's called Harvest Moon. It actually smells really nice. It almost smells like, like an apple one. And then of course we have the haunted candle. I love that it's in orange. Didn't give me a card this time saying the scent, so I honestly have no idea what this is gonna smell like. I hope pumpkin. Okay, I'm still gonna use it and it smells good. It almost smells like a Christmas candle though. Anyways, it still smells good and I'm still gonna use it. That's what it looks like. It's just plain. I'm out of it today. I've been out of it. Let's stick on the horror theme first and then I'll go to the book talk theme. The book talk things I'm actually really Really excited for though. So this is the horror thing. So I guess I could start explaining because you're gonna see it. You guys know that I love Saw. Saw is, I would say on the same scale for me as Scream. I love the Saw franchise. I love all those movies. Considering what it is, I'm actually really happy they packed it tight. It's just not the most, you know, convenient for me to open. First, never mind. That was gonna be satisfying. It wasn't at all. Okay, there we go. So this right here is a Saw VHS. This is the original Saw, the first one. I love Saw so much. And now I know not everybody can watch it because it is very gory. Oh my God, look, there's Billy on the side. I love Billy. I love Billy Loomis and I love Billy from Saw, my favorite. This is very gory. So unless you can watch gory movies, don't watch Saw. I just think of it like SFX makeup. This is a must and I've been wanting it. So I'm so happy I got it. It was like a little birthday gift to myself. I bought it. So here it is in all its glory. And apparently the Etsy seller that I got it from said that it does still play. I don't have a VHS like player. I don't have anything to play a VHS tape, but I'd like to get one one day. So awesome. Now book talk. Yet again, we got stuff from Creole Charm. I got four more necklaces. And I think I said this last time in my other video. This is the brand. Comes in this really cute packaging. Here we have a little rose stamp. Okay, we'll start with this one. I feel really out of it right now all of a sudden. Do I look out of it? I feel it. Oh, it's the, the cross. It's a little cross with a rose and then a hand. This is supposed to be Adeline's hand with like a ring. Just so pretty. I'm gonna kind of go fast with these because I want you guys to be able to see everything and not have it be like 10 minutes long. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so there's two in one. Next up, the little heart necklace, which is so pretty. It's so small. Like if you look at it compared to the cross, it's so tiny, but it's so pretty. And then we have this store that says Meadows. And then lastly, ooh, this one. And it has a rose and a black little charm. And then on the back, this is the special part of it. On the back, it says Little Mouse. I don't even think you could see that. So we got the little heart, the rose, <laughs> cross, and the knife. Those necklaces were absolutely beautiful. Last package is from Bookish Spice. This right here. I was on the wait list for it. And it's basically a dark romance subscription box. And you know the author, but you don't know the book. And it's a special edition of that book. So I made sure not to look at their Instagram and get spoiled because it came last Friday. Okay, so excited. It's my first ever box like this. I never had a monthly subscription box. Well, it comes every two months, so that's pretty cool. The author this month is Pam Godwin. I don't actually know her books, but I should. Well, I guess now I will, so. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I know Pam Godwin is popular. I've heard of her before. I never actually read her book, like I said. This is what it looks like. I think that's what the book's called, Beneath the Burn. Well, I can see in the box, the book looks so pretty. It comes with her signature, the author's signature. So here it is, Pam Godwin. Here's a bookmark. You show me beauty and survival. I'll show you strength and healing. You also get a pin. Wow, that's pretty. That's what the pin looks like. I'm guessing he's like a rock star. She's a rock star. It's a pretty big book. Wow, that's really pretty. Dare to be vulnerable with me. This is what the book looks like. It is in a wrapper. So pretty. Of course, you got the edges. So yeah, he's a rock star. That's what I'm guessing out of this. Wow, it looks like flames. 
It's a really nice book. This book has a whole dust jacket. That's crazy. Underneath, it looks like this. Wow, that's so cool. Really cool on each chapter. Okay, here we have our bookish spice subscription box. Really cool. That was a lot. I was really excited to open up all that stuff because I knew that I had a lot of really cool things. I love everything. Now that we had the hefty haul, I hope it wasn't too much for you guys. Let's go to Twilight Village and Sleepy Hollow. Hey guys, so we are now in Sleepy Hollow. We're at the Twilight Village event. There's so many people. It looks so pretty. It's all lit up. I'm really excited to see this because I've never been to, like I said, an event here. It reminds me of a Salem event. It's very busy, so if you do do this, make sure you get tickets in advance and make sure you come here in advance as well because all the spots are taken, so we're gonna walk in. I'm really excited, so I don't know if you guys can see, but Phillipsburg's Manor is right there, and it looks so pretty. So like I said, I think it's called Twilight Village. I can't see, so I really don't want to fall into the water. Oh my gosh, this complimentary apple cider donuts. Is that what she just said? We're now inside of Twilight Village, and it is so adorable. They have like these LED bats flying on Phillipsburg Manor. Right over here is the fire dancers. They have a storyteller. They have the headless horseman somewhere. I'm gonna find him. They give us free apple cider donuts the way in and I was gonna tell you guys but like there's so many people I think I had apple cider in my in my teeth so that's fun oh my gosh oh my there's a lot of smoke right there I feel like I'm in Salem because I see stuff like this all the time in Salem but I can never obviously go to it because Salem's too far this is more doable over here is the ghost stories it's really cute in here I highly recommend to do this honestly I think this is like a new thing so cool a nice little pumpkin drink right here it was so cool because there was just like this woman walking around she almost looked like a ghost even the way she was moving she was so nice there's people singing right there they sound really good they'll have yet to find the headless horseman and then right over here is like a little market looks really cute stuff we're gonna take a look. Look at the little pumpkin spice pocketbook right here. We just saw the headless horseman. I think he's actually behind me over here somewhere. It was so cool because he actually gave me the peace sign. He was really nice. Obviously, it's not the real headless horseman, but I think it's really cool how he's interacting with people like on the actual fence. And then over here is the fire dancers. We saw the really cute market, and they actually had a lively ghost bag, which is so cute. And if you've seen my other videos, you've seen my lively ghost mug. So I think it's really cool that they have it here. Over here is some food, and they also have ghost stories. It seems really cute. It's very family friendly. I'd highly recommend this for anybody that wants to come here. So cute. Look over there is the fire dancers behind me. There's not just one fire dancer there's actually two now I forgot to say there's also tarot card readings here there's like three different stations of tarot card readings it's cool because all the different people are interacting like the headless horseman interacting with the people around these fire dancers are interacting with people obviously the ghost story people everybody's just very friendly here i don't know if i mentioned this before but it's really cool because when we're walking on the bridge to get like to the spot because there's a bridge that goes to phillipsburg manor which you'll see in the video you hear galloping which is so cool because like obviously the headless horseman and then over there you can get s'mores kits and they actually have fire you can make the s'mores kits at. Food truck right over here. I'm really not too sure what food they have. This is really nice. It's very busy. There will be a long line when you come in, but just know that it will go quick, especially if you have a ticket. If you don't have a ticket, I would not wait until last second to get a ticket because it's sold out. And I definitely want to check out the ghost story thing. It's a little bit busy right now. It's really cool because in the like actual ghost story area, they're talking about the tale of the headless horseman, which is awesome. There's actually games over there as well. I don't know if I filmed that. Cornhole, Jenga, dominoes, all type of really fun stuff that you could do if you're just like, you know, kind of relaxing here. It's very chill, it's very laid back. I really like the vibe that it has. Right here we have chicken fingers and fries. I'm gonna try the chicken fingers for you guys. Let's try, oh God, let's try this one right here. It's actually really good. I'm surprised because normally things from places aren't the best. That's actually really good. I highly recommend to get that. They had a lot of other stuff too, like pulled pork, grilled cheese sandwiches, pulled chicken, stuff like that. Loving it so far. This is really good. I give those chicken tenders and fries a 10 out of 10. One of the best foods I've had at an actual event. The skin was so crispy. If I didn't get so full, I would have ate more of it. Now I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna actually go, but I don't know. You guys will see in the video if I do more. It's just nice to sit honestly and take in everything that's going on because there's a lot of different things going on here. It's just nice to sit and actually people watch. I like to people watch. I don't know if you guys like to people watch so i think that we are on our way out now i had to look at the fire dancers one more time and as well as the ghost stories just because everything is just so spooky lively halloweeny i love the spooky vibe so much i really don't want to leave but it's already i think it's nine o'clock it closes at 10 and there's not really much else i can do but i highly 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 recommend to come here i love it so much like look at all this there's so many people having fun everybody's happy like i just love that i love seeing people happy i love people having a good time little kids so cute coming here dressed up you can dress up too but you could also dress down and be cozy it's kind of like that mix like kind of like in Salem where you could go both ways if you want to. For my first real event in Sleepy Hollow other than the Pumpkin Blaze, I give it a 10 out of 10. now inside of the gift shop. If my nose looks red, it's because it's really cold because we're by the water. But they have a lot of really cute things here. Like they have like a Headless Horseman legendary blend. That's what it's called. And like caramels and marshmallows and really cute things. Caramel pumpkin marshmallows. I love all the Sleepy Hollow merch. Here you can get your own Headless Horseman. That is actually adorable, especially for kids. Oh my God, why is his hand like of that? Of course, mugs. I love mugs, but I do not need any more of those. I ended up getting that really cute gray sweatshirt. They didn't have the zip ups anymore, which is what I was originally going to get. I have a lot of Sleepy Hollow sweatshirts, but how can I not get that one with the 
a cute little script on the side. I heard that they're actually sold out of all of them, which is pretty crazy. I think because there's not a lot of places in Sleepy Hollow that actually sells Sleepy Hollow merch. It's cool because you can actually see everything going on from across the water. We are now in the car and I would say that that whole Twilight Village event was a success. I 100% recommend it, but I would also recommend it come here early so you could actually get spots. If there's a specific type of merch that you like before you go into Phillipsburg Manor, definitely get it before you go in because the zip-up hoodie that I wanted was completely sold out by the time we came back in. So if you want it, just get it right on the spot. So now let's go to the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to comment down below other videos you guys like to see on my channel. For the question of the day, I'd love to know what your favorite part of this video was. Anyways, I hope you guys have a super amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.